Welcome back to another video here on my second channel. In this video I want to talk about what changed throughout the week, so I will show you what I've worked on. I also want to talk about the idea of building a Discord community of builders, and I want to talk about my decision of going all in, which I just made yesterday basically. I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to make this video as long as the first one, so let's get right in. So one thing I've built was the landing page. I built the whole thing on Friday and it looks like this. I'm not 100% happy with this image right here. Um, I, I want to have like a nice illustration there or something like that because this image is also repeated here and I think in this version it looks a lot better and it makes a lot more sense. So essentially the heads up display for movers. Movers is like a term, I'm, I'm not really certain if I want to use that or if I have a, a better idea, but that's what I stick for um, right now. And then an explanation what the software actually does, start right in your browser. So I have a call to action right here um, that people will actually use the product. Um, and then I walk through the features essentially. I have crypto portfolio and watch list. Um, I have the Google Calendar integration, weather integration, social media growth and content analytics, to do management and goal management, and then at the bottom, get started again. So fairly simple page, but I think it looks quite nice. I've built this in one day, so um, that's what I'm what I'm happy with. I didn't spend like too much time on it, um, all the graphics, code, and so on in one day. So that's that's pretty cool, I think. I've also made it responsive, so if you are on a smaller screen, it should still look quite fine, even on on like mobile, it should look okay. It's of course not as good as when you're on the big screen, but I think that's that's fair as it is. Next up is the forgot password option. So if you can't remember your password, you can just enter your email address and click the forgot password button, and then you will get a um, get an email with a token, and you can redeem that token, set a new password, and yeah, that also works quite fine as it is. In the dashboard itself, a lot of things have changed in just a single week, so I'm very happy with the progress here. Um, but I did code a lot. I coded like 10 hours a day, but I'm still very happy with the progress. Um, just, let's just look at the crypto component, for example. You now have a monthly time frame, which gives you a longer overview of the asset. You also, in your portfolio, you can now choose between dollar, Bitcoin, and just percentage terms. So that's quite interesting and quite useful. This was actually a suggestion by someone of you, and I pretty much instantly implemented on the same day. So yeah, progress right here. Um, a lot of things are not instantly noticeable. They are quite minor, like double clicking in the to-dos opens the to-do model. And now if you um, type in the to-do, you can just press enter instead of needing to click on the save button. The same is true for, for this input right here. You can search for your search for your location and just press enter. You can also now choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So if you are not in Europe or actually don't know where you use Fahrenheit, is it just America? Is it just the US? I don't know. So yeah, a lot of minor changes and minor improvements. However, I think they are necessary and they are making the product better in general. Um, for example, I hid all the scroll bars on, on Windows browsers because they just looked awful. Um, the watch list can now be scrolled on drag, so you can hold it and then scroll it. This is necessary, for example, if you if you plug in a mouse instead of your trackpad, then you can't really scroll horizontally because you only have the mouse wheel. So if you if you drag here, you can now scroll. Again, a lot of these changes are minor improvements and bug fixes that I don't want to bore you with. So let's continue with the second subject of the video. The second subject is user numbers. So far, 18 of you have signed up, which is a good number in my eyes. It's certainly what I've expected, or it's in the ballpark of what I've expected. It's not really surprising. It's not like a really high number or really low number. So I'm, I'm very happy with that number. Of the 18 users, five of them contacted me, which is highly appreciated because that's really the main thing to make this product better is to just get feedback, to get feedback from you, to understand what you like and what you don't like and also um, what bugs you run into. Some of you sent me like really in-depth emails of feature requests and other things you would like to see. So that was really awesome. And, and a lot of these minor suggestions you had, I, I often just implemented them on the same day or on the following day. So the product is improving, it's improving fast and you are a part of that. So let me know if you find anything, if you see anything that you would like to have changed or if you have any ideas how to make the product better. I'm very open to it and yeah, that's, that's really what I'm looking for here. To make this easier, I also started a Discord server. The server is not just for the Control Console product, but more in generally, I want to build a community of builders there, people who make things, people who create things. We also talk about Bitcoin there, of course, 
but in general, it's more about building things. You can share your work, um, what you're creating, if you're a content producer, if you are a writer, whatever. If you're a software developer, I'm very interested in all these things and very happy to give feedback and also, of course, receive feedback for what, for what I do. So if you're interested in being a part of a community like that, then make sure to join. The link is in the video description. Now, as I stated in the very beginning of the video, I made the decision to go all in. What do I mean with that? If you follow me on Twitter or are subscribed to the German YouTube channel Blockchain Welt, you know that I've produced German videos for them for like the last year or so and that my partnership with them has ended. This has the implication that I'm losing most of my income, which is not like the nicest thing, but I also see the positive in that. I also see the chances that it offers and that is I have more time. I have more time to do other things other than doing German Bitcoin videos. And I want to make use of that time. I want to use this chance of having no obligation to another company by trying to building my own company um, or at least a product for my own company. So I've set myself a time horizon to work on this product with full focus, to work on it full time basically. And that is three months to six months. Um, I think that's a good time horizon to understand where it can go, to form an idea if this is an idea that could work out and that could also be monetized. Um, so far, I haven't seen anything that would like convince me that it is possible, but I've also not seen anything that would convince me otherwise. So it's like, it's like out in the open there. I have to keep improving the product. I have to focus on it and I have to give it some time. Um, so I think three months or better yet, six months is a good time span to, to do that and to understand where it could go. During that time, I would live off of savings which is which I can luckily do um, at least for a while. And uh, yeah, that's my plan. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm, what I'm willing to do. I will still produce um, videos for my English YouTube channel, but I will mainly focus on trying to build this product. And when I say I will focus on making the product better, that's really what I mean. If I allocate a fixed amount of hours, for example, to this project, 90% or 95% will go into making the product better, into coding. Um, I will not focus much on marketing, distribution, sales, ads, things like that. That is necessary and at some point, but I don't think it's necessary at this point because I, I do believe that um, it doesn't make, it, it's not fun to sell a crappy product. Um, so it's, everything comes from having a great product. That's, um, that's why I will focus on that and making the product great. Um, and from there, we will see. From there, I will think and talk about marketing and how I try to distribute it to other people because otherwise there will be no users. Um, yeah, but as I said, I will focus on the product and making the product better. So yeah, I'm extremely excited about this new path that I'm taking and about this entrepreneurial step that I'm, that I'm taking. Um, I'm definitely embracing the uncertainty that it brings. Maybe in, in half a year, I will sit here and be like, yeah, that didn't work. I, I got no users. I got no monetization whatsoever. Um, but I still believe that I will learn a lot in that time span. And that is also something that I'm always focusing on, um, keeping the learning curve steep and always expanding my knowledge, expanding my expertise and getting a better developer, getting a better marketer, whatever. It's it's all these things. I'm, I'm interested in, in so many different things. Um, I also made a video on that about uh, generalism instead of specialism. So yeah, that's, that's my two cents on these things. Very excited, very happy that I make that choice. Um, I will have basically no income and I will live off, off savings, but I have the chance to, to build something on my own and give it my whole, give it my all, um, put all my energy into it. Um, and I think that's really exciting. I think that's a really nice thing to be able to do. That's my little update for this week. For next week, I'm planning to get the customization right and a few other things like the health component, Garmin. That one is bugging me off so much recently. It's it's so difficult to do. I don't know why. I, I just don't understand webhooks so far. It's it's really strange. It's really it's not really that complicated, but understanding it and then putting it into workable, syntactically and semantically correct code, two different stories. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for further content. Of course, you can also join my Discord server, as I mentioned before, and then I see you next time.